Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter, for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. As you are coming online tonight, can we lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Let's worship Him. Let's worship our Lord, our God. Let's worship the King of Kings. Let's worship the Lord of Lords. Let's worship the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning at the end. Let's lift up our hand and worship Him. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, For His mercy endureth forever. I want you to lift up your hand and bless His holy name tonight. I want you to lift up your hand and worship Him tonight. I want you to lift up your hand and celebrate Him. Let's give Him all the praise. Let's give Him all the honor. Let's give Him all the adoration. Let's bless His holy name. Let's worship Him. I want you to say thank you, Jesus, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my marriage. Thank you for my business. Thank you for my career. Father, I want to say thank you for everything that concerning us tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Blessed be your holy name. Our Lord, we worship you. Our Lord, we give you praise. 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 Let's lift up our hand and worship him. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, For his mercy endure forever. As you are coming online tonight, every one of us on the online church, every one of us on YouTube, those of us on Facebook, can we all lift up our hand and celebrate God? Let's lift up our hand and worship Him. Let's lift up our hand and appreciate Him. Worship the King of Kings. Worship the Lord of Lords. Worship the Alpha, the Omega. The beginning and the end. Our Lord, our God. Let's give Him all the praise. Let's give Him all the honor. Let's give Him all the adoration. Today is another night. Today is the second Friday this month. One by one, day by day, night by night, this month is going gradually. The prayer avalanche that we're expecting by the grace of God is here to stay, in here to stand. And uh, I believe every one of us will have been blessed day by day. Day by day, God is blessing us. Why not just lift up your hand and appreciate God? Why not lift up your hand and worship Him? If you are hearing me right now, that means God has done something good in your life. If you are listening to me right now, I mean the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, have done something wonderful in your life. That means you are alive. And the Bible says, only the living, only the living shall praise the Lord. Only the living shall celebrate God. Only the living will worship Him. Only the living will praise Him. Why not just lift up a hand? Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. 
Worship him. Worship him. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Give him all the praise. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for tonight. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Thank you for everything that concerning us. Thank you for divine provision. Thank you for divine provision. Thank you for divine protection. Thank you for your hand of love that is upon us. Father, as we come before you tonight, I ask that the heavens of blessing open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. I ask that the heavens of deal, the deals of heaven, the heavens of electricity open upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. In everything that concerns us, Father, arise in your power. Do that which only you can do tonight. Visit each and every one of us. Let mountain, be, let mountain crumble. Let every crooked way be made straight. And at the end of the day, let your name be glorified. Sweet Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us to tonight. Fiji, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Every one of us on the online church, I celebrate God in your life. I bless the name of our Lord our God in your life. And I pray for you, Ma. I pray for you, sir. That everything that concerns you, the Lord will perfect them in the name of Jesus. For those of us on Facebook, for those of us on YouTube, for those of us on other platform, may the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God increase you. May the Lord God perfect that which concerns every one of you in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Once again, I welcome you all in Jesus' name. Tonight, as I've said during the week, we are going to speak into the art. We are going to take some prayer concerning the art. Where you and I are going to take some prayer concerning the art. Number one. Number two, I believe we have all received, I sent a prayer bulletin titled, This land shall yield a increase to me. This land shall yield a increase to me. Praise the Lord. And I said, every one of us, those of us who are business owners, that you take the prayer bulletin, make sure that every day, when you resume in that office, you pray it. Amen. Those of you who are career people, even if that business is not your own, the land, which, which means that office where you are working, must yield an increase. Your increase there is your promotion. Praise the Lord. Your increase there are the benefits that you are doing. Praise the Lord. So, which means you need to resume very early, at least five minutes before the restructure time. At the car park, inside your car, can take the prayer bulletin out. Take five minutes to pray there. If your seat, when you enter into the office, will not be conducive. Amen. Inside the car park, where you park your car, before you come down. Amen. Take five minutes. Amen. I know our mommies, our ladies, before you come down from your car, you take your mirror, you shake yourself. Amen. Some people with at least like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Amen. They will make sure that they look uh, gorgeous. But please, take five minutes, take the prayer. Amen. The, this land shall yield an increase to me. Number three, if you are working outside, you are working in another nation, you are living in another nation, you are working in another nation, you marry, you are there because you marry there or because of work, please take the bulletin, take it serious. This land shall yield an increase to me. Praise the Lord. Pray it. Pass it to your husband, pass it to your wife, pass it to your loved one. If you have anybody in another nation, please let them pray it. That country, the land where they are there, must yield an increase to them in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. So please, the prayer bulletin continue, not only for last week. That's why it's not hard copy, it's soft copy. You have it PDF format, you have it on your phone. Amen. If you want to print it out, you are free to print it out. 
but you have it on your phone. So anytime you just open your phone to your uh, file, look for it, and uh, boom, you pray them. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Are we ready? Tonight we shall be decreeing that the earth shall release our blessing. Those of you on Facebook, point to the earth. Say this earth. Say, oh earth, oh earth, oh earth. Release my blessing. When you say release my blessing, you bring it to your chest. You personalize it. Say, oh earth, oh earth, oh earth. Release my blessing in the name of Jesus. Those of you on YouTube, point to the heart. Say, oh earth, oh earth, oh earth. You are addressing it as, as if you are addressing somebody. Praise the Lord. Say, oh earth, oh earth, oh earth. Release my blessing in the name of Jesus. Those of us on the online church, can you point your hand to the heart? Say, oh art, oh art, oh art. Release my blessing unto me in the name of Jesus. Every one of us, tell the platform. Okay, those of you that you are listening to this audio, to this podcast, can you point your hand and your finger to the hand? Say, oh art, oh art, oh art. Release my blessing unto me in the name of Jesus. So every one of us, either you are on Facebook, on YouTube, um, on the online church, either you are listening to this or do, can we now decree and declare together, Oh art, oh art, oh art, release your blessing unto me in the name of Jesus. Can we take it one more time? Oh art, oh art, oh art, release my blessing unto me in the name of Jesus. Can we take it one more time? Oh art, oh art. Oh heart, release my blessing unto me in the name of Jesus. The heart will release your blessing, your promotion, your lifting, your breakthrough. The heart will release them in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Before we do that, I quickly want to address two or three scriptures briefly. And uh, after that, we now go into that. The first scripture, Psalm 116, verse 8. Psalm 116 verse 8. I have three scriptures that I quickly want us to address before we go into O Art Release My Blessing. The first scripture tonight that I want us to address together, Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116, 116 verse 8. Are we there? Are we there? Psalm 116 verse 8. Are you there? If you are there, shout hallelujah. If you are there, say, I am there. Okay. Psalm 116, verse 8. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Can we take it again? For thou, O Lord, hast delivered my soul from, from my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. The psalmist is saying, the Lord has delivered his soul from death. Tonight, your soul, the soul of your husband, the soul of your wife, the soul of your children, that means your life, the Lord will deliver it from any kind of death in the name of Jesus. This very year, this very year, next coming year, next coming year, all the days of your life, until when you grow old and you fulfill your destiny, the Lord will deliver your soul from death in the name of Jesus. Number two, your eyes from tears. Whatever it is that will cause affliction that will make you to cry. He said, the Lord deliver my eyes from them. Then number three, the Lord deliver my feet from falling. You will not fall into error in the name of Jesus. You will not fall into mistake in the name of Jesus. Mistake and error. I call them costly mistake and error. That will maim life. That you regret all the days of your life. May God deliver you from them in the name of Jesus. Some people fell. They were able to rise. Some people fell. They did not die, but they were not able to rise again. The remaining days of their life. And some people, they fell. And they died. Every one of you that you are listening to me. Every one of you that you are hearing me. May God deliver you from your feet from falling in the name of Jesus. So can you lift up your hand? Three things there, we are going to address them quickly. You hear some information, some people on their staircase in the house, they will just fall. 
and they will be crippled. They will just fall and it will lead to another thing. Some people inside the bedroom, they will just fall. And what will happen? Stroke. Some fall. By the time people get there, they are, they are almost, um, they have passed on. Your own case will not be like that in the name of Jesus. You will not fall. I say you will not fall. Your children will not fall. Your husband will not fall. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. Deliver my soul from death. In the name of Jesus. So, my father, my father, my father. My soul. The soul of my wife. The soul of your husband. The soul of our children. Say, my father, my father, my father. Deliver our soul from death. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to declare and declare? Ask the Lord God to deliver your soul from death. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father. Deliver my soul. Deliver my husband's soul. Deliver the soul of my wife. Deliver the soul of my children. Deliver the soul of my loved one from death. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray? Ask the Lord God to deliver your soul from death. According to Psalm 116, verse 8. Psalm 116, verse 8. Say, O Lord my God, deliver my soul from death. In the name of Jesus. O Lord my God, deliver my soul from death. In the name of Jesus. O Lord my God, deliver my soul from death. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Ask the Lord God to deliver your soul from death. Ask the Lord God to deliver your soul from death. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, deliver my soul from death. The soul of my husband, the soul of my wife, the soul of my children. Deliver us from death. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer for yourself. Pray for your loved one. Let God deliver your soul from death. In the name of Jesus. Say in my life, in my family, in this ministry, we reject sudden death. In the name of Jesus. We reject death. We reject sudden death. In the name of Jesus. Say we reject death. We reject sudden death. So Lord our God, in this ministry, deliver our soul from death. In the name of Jesus. Deliver our soul from death. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. The Lord will deliver your soul, my soul, our soul, the soul of our spouse and our children from death in the name of Jesus. Number two, my eyes from tears. So, Lord my God, deliver my eyes from tears. What will make you to cry? What will make you to weep? And tears will begin to come out of your eyes. And people will begin to comfort you. We reject it in the name of Jesus. I said we reject it in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, any event, say any event that will lead to tears coming out of my eyes, that will lead to bitter tears, say any event that will happen in my life, that will happen in my home, that will happen in my marriage, that will happen around me, that will make me to begin to cry, and people will begin to console me, Say, I reject it. 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 Can we begin to reject it? In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to reject it. Let's begin to reject it. Say, I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In Jesus' name, we pray. The third one there. He said, and my feet from falling. Say, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God. As you are praying that, please let your hand be touching your leg. So, Lord my God, deliver my feet from falling in the name of Jesus. So, Lord my God, uphold my leg by your hand. Deliver my feet from falling, physical, spiritual. So, Lord my God, deliver my feet from falling in the name of Jesus. Deliver my feet. 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 Ask the Lord God to deliver your feet from falling. In the name of Jesus. Either physical, either spiritual. Ask the Lord God to uphold your leg. Say, Father, deliver my feet from falling. From falling. From falling. From falling. From falling. Pray that prayer for yourself. Lord, deliver my feet from falling. I will not fall. I will not fall. I will not fall. Physical, spiritual. I will not fall. In the name of Jesus, decree and declare that you will not fall. 
Say I will not fall. I can hear you. Say I will not fall. Sister Kati, I, I hope you your hand is on your leg. Say I will not fall. Can you declare and declare? Say I will not fall. 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 So Lord my God, uphold my leg, uphold my feet from falling, from falling, from falling, from falling, from falling, from falling. Father, uphold my feet in the name of Jesus. I will not fall. 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 My loved one will not fall. Your husband, mention his name. Your wife, mention her name. Your children, say I will not fall. My children will not fall. In the name of Jesus, I will not fall. My children will not fall. In the name of Jesus, I will not fall. In the name of Jesus, my children will not fall. My husband will not fall. My wife will not fall. Pray that prayer. Pray for yourself. You will not fall in the name of Jesus. The Lord will uphold your leg. The Lord will uphold your feet. The Lord will uphold you. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. The second scripture that you and I are going to address tonight, you know I said we have three scriptures that we need to address before we go into tonight's prayer. Job 16, verse 18. Job 16, verse 18. Job 16, verse 18. O art, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place in you. O art, cover not my blood. If the Bible said the life of a man is in his blood, and the art cover the blood of that person, what is the meaning? What is the meaning? It simply means the person is dead. It's only a dead person that they will bury. It's only a dead person that they will put inside the heart and the heart will cover them. Only a dead person. So for the heart to cover the blood of a man or the blood of a woman, it simply means that person that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Job 16 verse 18 says, O art, cover not thou my blood. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, O art, O art, O art. Say you will not swallow. You will not cover my blood in the name of Jesus. Don't forget that blood is the life. The life is in the blood. The life is in the blood. So if the life is in the blood, the blood is the life. So, say in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh, art, O oh, art, O oh, art. You will not swallow my blood. You will not swallow my life. You will not cover my life. In the name of Jesus. Can you begin to declare and declare? Point your hand. You point your finger to the art. You are addressing it. Say, O oh, art, O oh, art, O oh, art. Say tonight. I declare, I declare. In the name of Jesus. You will not swallow my blood. You will not cover my blood. You will not swallow my blood. You will not cover my blood. You will not swallow my blood. You will not cover my blood. In the name of Jesus. O art, O art, O art. In the name of Jesus. You will not swallow my blood. You will not cover my blood. The blood of my wife. The blood of your husband. The blood of our children. O art, O art, O art. You will not swallow it. You will not cover it. You will not swallow it. You will not cover it. You will not swallow it. You will not cover it. You will not swallow it. You will not cover it. Can you begin to declare and declare? Oh, art, oh, art. Every member of this ministry, oh, man, have we. Wherever they are, all over the world. Every member of Pray New Goods Network. All our family members. All our children. You will not swallow their blood. You will not cover their blood. You will not swallow their blood. You will not cover their blood. You will not swallow their blood. You will not cover their blood. Can you declare and declare? That, oh, art. She will not swallow our blood. She will not cover our blood in the name of Jesus. You will not swallow our blood. You will not cover our blood in the name of Jesus. You will not swallow our blood. You will not cover our blood. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I said, in Jesus' name, we are praying. The third scripture for tonight. The third scripture for tonight. 
Psalm 36, verse 11. Psalm 36, verse 11. Psalm 36, verse 11. In that your position, in that place where God has put you, in that your seat, in that your marriage, in that your home, in that your business, in that your career, anyone that is planning to remove you, anyone that is planning, anyone that is dreaming to remove you, the Lord will remove them for your sake in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your amen. I said, in that your position, in that house where you are living, in that marriage, anyone that is ganging up, anyone that is dreaming, anyone that is programming, anyone that is going on any evil assignment, in order to remove you from that marriage, to remove you from that home, to remove you from that business, the Lord God, in the name of Jesus, will remove you, will remove them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will remove them. The Lord will remove them. The Lord will remove them. In that environment, those that are gagging up, those that are dreaming, those that are working it out, that in this marriage, we must remove you. In this home, we must remove you. In this environment, we must remove you. In this business, we must remove you. The Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your amen. If you agree with me, the Lord will remove them in the name of Jesus. They will be removed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Psalm 36, verse 11. Let not the foot of the pride come against me. And let not the hand of the wicked remove me. Let not the foot of the pride come against me. Another person say, kick against me. When there is a bucket on the ground and there are water inside it and you want to throw the water away and you are angry, what will you do? You don't need to carry it and pour it. You just kick the bucket and everything inside it will pour away. Every program foot of the pride, every foot of the pride, every leg of the pride that they are programming to kick against you, to work against you, to stand against you in the name of Jesus. Let that, kid, let that uh, foot, let that leg, let it be cut off in the name of Jesus. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Let not the foot of the pride come against me. Another person says, another person say, kick against me. And let not the hand of the wicked remove me. Queen Fasti was removed by wicked people from the throne. Joseph was enjoying his father's blessing and environment, but he was removed by his brothers. They took him. The Bible said they took him. And they sold him. They hand him over into slavery. He was removed. You will not be removed in the name of Jesus. I say you will not be removed in the name of Jesus. In that place of your blessing, you will not be removed in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say on this land. That land, by I believe you understand the meaning of land. I may be using the land or the earth together. They means for this uh, pr uh, prayer, they represent the same thing. And I know you know the meaning by now. We have been praying it for like more than four or five days now. Amen. The earth, the land, represent your home, represent your marriage, represent your business, represent your career, represent where you are working, represent your environment. Praise it the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus, say on this land. I can't hear you. Say on this land. Say the foot of the pride will not stand against me, will not kick against me, in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, say on this land, the foot of the pride will not stand against me, will not kick against me, in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to declare and declare, say in the name of Jesus, on this land, this land that I am, say the feet of the pride, the leg of the pride, will not kick against me, in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare it, say in the name of Jesus. The feet of the pride will not stand against me. Will not kick against me. Will not stand against me. 
will not kick against me. Will not stand against me. Will not kick against me. Decree and declare it. The foot of the pride will not kick against you. Will not kick against your marriage. Will not kick against your work. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. The, the Bible says, let's look at it again. Psalm 36 verse 11. Let not the foot of the pride come against me. Another person say, stand, stand uh, kick against me. Another person say, stand against me. Either come against me, either stand against me, either kick against me. None of them is good. The book of Zechariah, the Bible said, uh, Joshua the high priest stood before God and the accuser of the brethren. What happened? Stand by his right hand. That is the foot of the pride. The leg of the wicked one, the leg of the accuser, was standing at his right hand. The Bible said, to resist him, to resist him. Here, you will not be blessed. Joshua, all your prayer here, I will stand against it. You will not be blessed. Who is that person that is standing against your promotion? Who is that person that is standing against your peace in that home, in that marriage, in that environment? I decree, I declare, in the name of Jesus, any satanic leg, any leg, at the, a leg of the wicked one, every foot of the pride that is standing to resist your testimony this season, let that feel be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. And if it's to kick, when they kick a bucket, everything inside that bucket will be, told to be thrown away. If it is water, they cannot get it back again. They cannot get it back again. The water will pour away. As you labor, when it is time for affairs, who is the owner of that leg that always kick your affairs? And the moment they kick your affairs, something will just happen. You will not know what happened to the, to the money. To you will labor, labor, labor. You will be saving the money for a particular project. When it remains small, for you to go and do that thing, that is when they will send for you from the village. That is when they will send for you from somewhere. Grandpa is sick. Grandma is sick. The uncle is sick. Your sister is this. Your junior brother. Something just happened. You need to send the money, urgent money. Somebody, this. Uh, something will just spoil in the house. That is when the car engine will have issue. That is when the freezer will be having issue. That is when there will be one electrical fault in the house. That is when the fence of the house will collapse. And the money will just go there. You think that it's ordinary? If it's ordinary, it's supposed to just be ounce. You start all over again. When it remains small for you to do that thing with that money, something again will happen. It's the foot of the pride. They always kick against progress. And everything will throw away. Anyone... Anytime you gather, any foot of the pride that is always kicking against your testimony, I declare, I declare, let it be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Let it be paralyzed. 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 In the name of Jesus. And when they come against, they block the road. If, if it is the, the old body that blocked the road, you will see the obstruction. It's either you go and look for another way. Or you stand and begin to address them till they remove. But no. You won't see them. But their leg, they just stretch their leg. I remember in secondary school, in those days. When your friend is passing by, you just put your leg, just stretch your leg. And what will happen? That person will fall. God will help that person with carrying some things like raw egg. Everything will break. Lift up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say on this land, in this marriage, in this business, in my office, in my career, in my marriage, in my home, in my family, in my environment, any foot of the pride that is standing that is resisting, that is kicking against my progress. In the name of Jesus, be paralyzed, be paralyzed.
be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed. Command that foot to be paralyzed. Every foot of the pride that is standing against your progress, command it to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Command it to be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. On this land, the foot of the pride will not stand against me, will not kick against me, will not stand against me, will not kick against me. Say in the name of Jesus, say I reject activity of the foot of the pride in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Say in the name of Jesus, say in my place of abode, say in my place of work, say in this environment where I live, say in the environment where I work, say the hand of the wicked will not remove me in the name of Jesus. In my home, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, say in the name of Jesus, the hand of the wicked will not remove me in the name of Jesus. The hand of the wicked will not remove me in the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Say in my environment, in my office, in my business, in my marriage, the hand of the wicked will not remove me. 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 In the name of Jesus, the hand of the wicked will not remove me. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the wicked will not remove me. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the wicked will not remove me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we are praying. Say every hand of the wicked stretch toward me. Stretch toward my marriage. Straight toward my business. Say every hand of the wicked. Straight towards my children. Be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare. Every hand of the wicked. That they have straight towards you. That they say to your marriage. That they say to your business. That they say to your husband, your wife, your children. Command them to be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus. Every hand of the wicked. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Every hand of the wicked. That they say towards this ministry. In the name of Jesus. You that hand of the wicked. Be paralyzed. 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 Any hand of the wicked that the enemy are stretching towards this name, Pray the Goose Network, towards the logo, towards any of our program online, in the name of Jesus, wherever they have written our name down, any hand of the wicked that they are pointing to our name, that they are pointing to us, that they are pointing to our logo, in the name of Jesus, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed. Command the hand of the wicked to be paralyzed, in the name of Jesus. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lift up that hand. Lift up your hand. I declare, I declare tonight, every hand of the wicked that the enemy are raising up against you, every hand of the wicked that they are lifting up against your marriage, against your business, against your career, let it be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. Let it be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus. That your business. Any hand of the wicked. Satanically that they are pointing to it. Unknown to you. Wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Let that hand. Let it wither in the name of Jesus. Every leg. Every foot of the pride. That is roaming in the garden of your life. In order to stand against you. In order to resist your progress, I declare, I declare tonight, let that feet, let that leg, let it wither in the name of Jesus. As you have decreed and declared concerning the earth, according to Job 16, verse 8, the earth will not swallow you in the name of Jesus. The earth will not swallow you in the name of Jesus. The earth will not swallow your loved one in the name of Jesus. The earth will not cover your blood in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the enemy. To terminate your life suddenly. The Lord abort it in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the enemy. To terminate your family member. The Lord abort it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare. According to Psalm 116 verse 8. The Lord will deliver your soul from death in the name of Jesus. The soul of every members of this ministry. The soul of everyone that partner with us. With this ministry. 
the soul of every member of this ministry and our family. Our soul, the Lord will deliver us from death in the name of Jesus. This year and beyond, our eyes, the Lord deliver us from tears in the name of Jesus. This year and beyond, the Lord deliver our feet from falling in the name of Jesus. You will not fall. I say you will not fall. Physically, you will not fall. Spiritually, you will not fall. The Lord will uphold you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. And if there's any one of you, in one way or the other, that you have fall, your marriage, your business, your career, your finance, your health, today, by the right hand of God, the Lord lift you up in the name of Jesus. The Lord lift you up. 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 In the name of Jesus. The exact place where you are fell. I don't want to know how many years. I don't want to know how many months. The exact place where you fall. I declare, I declare. Let the Lord God wind back the journey of your life to that place. And lift you up in the name of Jesus. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. One of the sons of the prophet, as you are fetching the tree for expansion. They want to expand the way you want to expand. And the ass head fell. His virtue, his honor, his lifting, his promotion, his life, his finance, everything about him fell inside the stream. You could not pick it, you could not find it again. He called for the prophet. And the prophet appeared and said, Where is that place? And he said, It is this place. And the prophet dipped its stick there. And the iron head floated. That was against the law. Against, against, against the law of science, against the law of nature, against the law of technology or whatever you can call it. Has John, you know, in those days, it's not like this technology age that you can just uh, use anything else. In those days, it is cruel uh, metal. So there's no way a metal, that kind of metal, will float because it's always heavy. It's going to go down to this, to, to the bottom. So what make it to float? The power of God. And after the iron head floated, the prophet said, now you have seen it, pick it up. And he picked the floated as head that he lost. I declare, I declare, any one of you that you have fallen, any one of you that you have lost your virtue, you have lost your glory, you have lost your honor, every one of you that something during the process of increase and enlargement, that something valuable, you lost it. Your life, your money, your finance, your health. You lost something valuable. And up to today, you are struggling with it. Today, as the Lord liveth, I decree, I declare. Take it back in the name of Jesus. Take it back. 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 Your health, your life, your journey, your glory, your honor, your virtue, your lifting, your promotion, your health that you lost in the name of Jesus. Take it back in the name of Jesus. Take it back in the name of Jesus. Where you are fell. Let the Lord God wind the days back, wind the years back, rewind the journey of your life to that place, and let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. So we go to part two of tonight. We need the next 15 minutes to be true. O art, release my blessing. Say, O art, release my blessing. Jeremiah 22, 29, number 16, 32, Jeremiah, 6, Jeremiah 22, 29, number 16, 52. I said at the beginning of this program that during the week, I sent a prayer bulletin out. This land shall yield an increase to me. If you are a business owner, please, you have right to pray there. Take the prayer bulletin, begin to pray it in your business premises every morning. When you resume there, you can print it out. Pray it out every morning. Make sure that that is the first thing you pray there. The land where your business is must be that increase for you in the name of Jesus. If you are working, a career person, if that office is not conducive, maybe many of you share the same office so that they won't be looking at you, suspecting you, this and that. When you get to the car park, before you come down from your car, bring out your bulletin, recite, go over the scripture, take one or two or three, Take five minutes to pray those prayer. Five minutes. Use it to declare and declare the prayer. Praise it the Lord. It's not a day journey. You continue with those prayer. 
So it's not a, 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 a brother or pastor. You sent it last week. Eh, eh. Yes, I sent it last week, but not for last week. Continue it. Yeah, if you are in another nation, you are in another country. Begin to declare and declare there. This land, in the name of Jesus, you must yield your increase for me. In the name of Jesus, you this land, you must yield your increase for me. Begin to pray there. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Why I always lay emphasis on those who are business owners? It's not something that is easy for you to put money together on a business and there won't be tangible results. It's not easy. Career people, by the time you by the time you threaten your boss, they will pay your salary. They will pay your salary. If they need to go and borrow money, they must go and borrow money and pay your salary. But those of you who are career people, it's not an easy task. With the way, not only in one country, all over the world, how things are going on. So we need to secure our business. We need to secure our business. That same business you are doing. That same business you are doing. Do you know that you are not the only one that is doing it? We have many other people that are doing it. Many other people that are doing the same business. <laughs> and uh, business, doing the same business with you, you are all in, you are all doing competition. Either you agree or not, you are doing competition. They want to sell, you want to sell. So it is not the one who have the best product or who do the best marketing that we sell. No, it's the one who can control, who have power, who can control the invisible world. The invisible world will determine who, who is going to rule and reign on that, in that market. Some of your competitors, some of your people who are doing the same business with you. From 12 to 3, from 12 to 4, they don't sleep. They're always naked, racing up one leg and making incantation for three hours non-stop. And you are, in the same, you are doing the same market. You are going to the same market, selling the same product. And you are saying you not pray. Ha, please, I beg. He told us I learned one fear, not what I read, by practical, what I witnessed, what I saw. Not what I read, what I saw, what I witnessed. Bible said, Jesus Christ, learn obedience by what is over for. I learn out of warfare. All this die, 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 shake off. I learn it from what I suffer, from what I saw, from what I witnessed, from what I encounter. Some years ago, they gave a particular um, what do you call it? A particular group, a piece of land in one place. And uh, somebody from the former owner, from the family that owns the land, that the town took it from them and said, the land belongs to the town. We are giving it to this uh, society. One of them said, no. It belongs to our fathers. I will, unless these people should come and pay me something. He went there to go and clear the whole place. He said he's going to farm there. And uh, some elders were talking. I, it's not that I, they said it to me. It's something that I saw, that I witnessed. An elderly man among them just, uh, just laughed. And they are saying, how much are we going to contribute and say to this guy so that he can leave us? He said, say to what? The elderly man just said, no, leave him. Let him go and plant. Is it not the land? I said, yes. Is it not art? He said, art. He, the man now said, is it not the same art? The, the same land, the same soil that extended from that place. Only God knows how many miles to this place where we are. They say, yes. It's not that I read it. It's not that they told me. I was there. I witnessed it. The man just banged the heart like this. And he just speaks. Say, oh, art. Oh, art. Oh, art. That land. That land that we are talking to. No one will ever profit on that land except us. Anything they plant on that land. It will not grow. Anything they take there. Let it be. Let the heart swallow it. The guy planted corn. Planted maize. During rainy season. The rain, the, the corn terminate. We saw it terminated. I was there, I saw it too. All this process. So it's not that maybe I read something, it's something that I saw. It will not be more than two feet. That's two rulers. Two feet. 
and it started brown and it dry. They plant uh, what do you call it? Cassava. The same thing. And nothing will be more than two feet there. Just those uh, ruler. Two feet. And it will turn brown and it will dry. The last time they talk about it, the family had to come and beg. The man said he's joking. He said, I have addressed the art that nothing should grow there. He said, the only thing that will grow there is that guy that will go and bury him there. When, when the guy begin, you have to come and meet the man. He's an elderly man and beg him. And he just banged the earth, the land. He said, he said, ah, uh-uh, you are so angry. Don't know, don't be angry too much. He just must more. He was talking to the earth as if he's addressing somebody. He said, ah, uh-uh, he will let you earth. You are so angry. Why are you angry? I didn't ask you to get angry like this. Just more, more. And so they have said that the guy will not go there. So leave him alone. Let him just go and profit in another place. Let him, because the guy was running mental. He will be walking and he will be saying something is biting him. Something is biting his feet. What is the meaning? The heart was walking against him anywhere he go. And the Baba just addressed the heart there. The same market where you are doing business. In the same market, the children of that Baba will be doing the same market, the same product. They are selling the same product with you. And you say you will not pray. And you say you will not pray. Please, sir, please, man. Let's address the earth. We have the right. Do we have the power? When you address it with the blood of Jesus, the heart will hear you. Whatever their program there, you address it with the blood of Jesus. The heart will formit them. Any evil on that land, the heart will formit them. And whatever, when you come there, because of the auction of Jesus Christ upon you, the power of Holy Ghost, the heart is waiting for you to address her. So when you address her, I will listen. The heart is ready to help you. But if you don't ask for the help, it won't do it. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Say, oh, what? Release my blessing. This small boy, I've, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. That's why when you come to prayer like this, I think some people say, ah, Pastor, Pastor, you always pray with seal. I don't pray with seal. Oh. It's not that I pray with seal. I pray with the fire that I have saw. <laughs> pray the fire that I saw. How will, can you imagine? I'm inside him, this my house. I'm from nowhere. Physically, around uh, between, around this time, in the midnight, one hand just appear from nowhere. Hold my lead, head and slam it to the wall. And you are saying, I will not pray. I will not pray. <laughs> I will not pray. I will not pray. How will you explain this? My first uh, administration outside Nigeria, it remained 24 hours to go. I started stolen. I started stolen. I started stolen. I stood to the airport inside a plane. I take small water like this. I will rush to the toilet. The moment, the moment me and my team we landed there, and one man would do was saw me sweating. And the pastor said, ah, Sir, what happened to this pastor? He said, You have been stolen since yesterday. You have been stolen since yesterday. Just managed to come. And the man said, ah, No problem. We'll get you something. The moment the drivers took us to where we are going to lodge, the stolen stop. <laughs> I said, I will not pray. When I gave my life to Christ, I will be going to church for Fiji like this. And from nowhere, one hand will come out and slap my face. I didn't say in dream, oh, and I'm not running mental. And you are saying, I will not pray. <laughs> I learned it. So that was how I learned prayer. I will look for scripture that will address it. And I will face them. When I face them, they will leave me. Hey, I've overcome that one. <laughs> so he said, I will not pray. Oh, the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Please, once again, I will, I'm encouraging us. Please, I want us to take that prayer bulletin serious. Take it to your business. Begin to pray it. When you begin to pray, they address the place. You will begin to see the wonders of God in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 22 29, number 16 32. Jeremiah 22 29, number 16 
32. Let's look at in Jeremiah 22, 29. Say, O art, O art, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. O art, O art, write this one down. Amen. Which means the art can hear, the art can take record. In number 16, 32. Number 16, 32. There we see that the art half mouth. Moses said, if this people should die, they won't, they won't respect me. What about if the earth should just open up? And the first earthquake was recorded. The Bible said the earth opened up under their feet. And everything about them, the earth swallowed it and it covered again. Is that not so, Mark? I was praying about a particular man. About a particular man. I want to know him. And the Lord took me in a revelation about him. And I was journeying with the man. And the man took me to a place. He said, Pastor, you want to see me? You have seen me now. This is what I do. Anybody that offend me, I take their glory. This is the storehouse. I kept it there. And if I don't want to give it to them, I have, I have, uh, I have another place down. Like dungeon. He said, I just send their goods to that place. Oh, that is a big warehouse. A lot of, a lot of goods. Eh? Like carton, carton. They don't write name. They just write number. He said, you see all this one? They are for people that just seize their glory for maybe six months for a certain period of time that we give it to them. He said, but you see that one, those one under the ground. Eh? I don't want to give it to them till they die. He said, come, let's go and see. And we enter into a lift and the lift took us down. Ha! Ah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, yes, you have seen me now. So we can now go back. And uh, we enter the lift again. Uh, the lift carry us up and from there, uh, say we can now go. And the revelation ended. Say, wow. <laughs> oh my niño. <laughs> oh. The glory of people that offended him. The glory of people that are doing business with him. The glory of people that he doesn't want them to progress. He will take it. Take it into the satanic warehouse. Where is the warehouse? The art. The art. Number 1632. The art can swallow anything. Praise the Lord. Lift up your hand. Say, O oh, art, swallow my battle in the name of Jesus. Can you point your hand, your finger, point it to the art throughout the next five minutes that we'll be praying? Please, we are addressing the art. So you point to the finger. Say, O oh, art, O oh, art, O oh, art. Say, swallow my battle in the name of Jesus. Every battle in my marriage, every battle against my glory, say, O oh, art, O oh, art. Swallow them in the name of Jesus. Swallow them. My sickness, my poverty, my sweat and struggle. Say, oh, art. Swallow them. My failure. Swallow them. My sickness. Swallow them. Every battle that is waging war against me, against my destiny, against my career. Oh, art. Oh, art. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. Every problems in my life, every challenge in my life, every problem in my marriage. Every challenge in my marriage, oh, I swallow them, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them, swallow them. Every battle against my glory, oh, art, oh, art, swallow them up, 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 swallow them up. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to take you one more time. Oh, I swallow my battle. If you're having reoccurring sickness and ailment, that refuse medication. Please, I want you to remove your leg. Remove your, your leg from your shoe or your slippers. Let your leg touch the earth directly. Somebody say, if I am on rock. Yes. If you are on rock, no problem. But make sure that you are standing. You are not on, on rubber, on slippers, or on shoe. Are you ready? Can you point your hand to the earth again? So, oh, earth, oh, earth, oh, earth. Swallow my battle. In the name of Jesus. Every marital battle. Every battle against my glory, battle against my head, battle against my business, battle against my career, every sickness, every poverty, every sweat and struggle, every arrow in my body, say, oh, ah, swallow them, 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 command the heart to swallow them in the name of Jesus. Command the heart to swallow them in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the earth swallow them. 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 Decree and declare. Oh, earth, swallow my problem. Swallow my sickness. 
swallow my infirmity. Every problem facing my business, every challenge facing my life, oh, I swallow them. In Jesus' name, we are pray. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Say, oh, art, oh, art, oh, art, fight for me. In the name of Jesus, say, oh, art, oh, art, oh, art, say, fight for me, 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 fight for me. Can you begin to declare and declare? Let the art fight for you. In the name of Jesus, the art, the land where you work, where you do business, where your marriage is established, let the land begin to fight for you. In the name of Jesus, begin to fight for you. Let the art fight for you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, oh art, oh art, oh art. Say, release my blessing. Formate my blessing. The book of prayer, Job said, he has swallowed down riches. He will formate them. Am I right? He has swallowed down riches. The art has swallowed riches. He's going to do what? He's going to formate them. Say, oh art, oh art, oh art. Say, any of my blessing that you have swallowed, say, formate them. Release them. Formate them. Release them. Formate them. Release them. Formate them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Say, my blessing, my glory, my marriage, my earth, my fruitfulness. Say in the name of Jesus, O oh, ye art, for me them, 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 for me them. Any of my blessing that you have swallowed, command the art of for me them. In Jesus' name we are praying. Look at that man that God showed me his revelation. And in that revelation, the man was aware that I was making investigation about him. He said, Pastor, you want to know about me? Come. Let me show you some things. And he took me into that warehouse. Very big warehouse. And later, he said, let's go down so that we can see detail, we can see more. Under the heart, the glory of people, the blessing of people, the virtues of people. The elderly man that addressed the heart as if he's addressing his houseboy. Can you imagine? Say said, what? Anything he put there, just swallow it. Don't don't profit the person. Anything he planted, swallow it. And anything they planted, they had to just swallow it. Business people, I will keep repeating it. Make sure that you don't, don't joke with prayer. You don't know what your competitors are doing. Can you imagine somebody will go and meet that kind of man and give that man money? For what? I just dash you. I give you, Baba. The Baba said, what do you want? Nothing. Is there anybody that offends you? That's the first thing that we ask. Is there anybody that offends you? No. Is there anybody you want to deal with? No. Is there anybody that you want to punish? No. Is there anybody that you want to... <laughs> no. So why are you giving me money? I just give you. Nothing. I just give you. I just give you, sir. I just feel like blessing you. Ah. Okay. Don't worry. Come back. I have something that I will give you. In that work where you are working, no one will rise. Anyone that is doing the same business, it's either they close that, oh, and you are saying you you want to establish business, you don't want to pray, or you pray today, the next one month you not pray. Where your competitors, some of them, they are, they are awake now until 3 a.m., naked, naked on the road. Some of them, once in a week, once in a month, they go to burial ground, they sleep there. Make incantation, make all manners of things. And you are in the same market. Rise up, please. Rise up. Point your hand to the heart. Your finger point it to the heart. Say, oh art, oh art, oh art. Say any of my blessing. Say my glory. My fruitfulness. My marriage. My finance. My head. Begin to measure those good things. That you have swallowed. Say the time is up. Say in the name of Jesus, Holy Art, formit them, release them, formit them, release them, formit them. Command the art to formit them. Your blessing, your healing, your promotion, that the art has swallowed. Address the say in the name of Jesus, formit them, release them, formit them, release them, formit them, release them, formit them, release them. 
Forbid them, release them, 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 forbid them, release them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say any power. I can't hear you. Say any power. Using the art against me. Say from tonight, begin to fail. Any power that is using the art against me, using the art against my marriage, against my business, against my career, from tonight, begin to fail. Begin to fail. Begin to fail. You that power that is using the art against me, begin to fail. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say evil decree, satanic decree upon the art. Say evil program upon the art that is working against me, against my life, against my marriage, against the work of my hand. Say in the name of Jesus, be cancelled, 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 be cancelled. Any evil program, any evil decree upon the art that is working against you. Against the work of your hand, let it be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Let it be cancelled. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say any power monitoring my life through the sand. There are some people they use, they do consultation, eh? Using sand. They see, you are created from the sand. I am created from the sand. Anywhere you find yourself, you are standing on the sand. So when they take the sand, they are taking something from you. <laughs> when they take the sand, they speak to the sand. The sand is connected to the sand where you are. Say so anything you like, hide. See some people say because of their stepmother who is bewitching them. They want to leave their country, to go to another country. I just laugh. I say instead of you to settle the matter. In the place of prayer. As when you are planning to go for and get a visa, they wash you, they monitor you. When you are boarding plane, they monitor you. As you are landing there, they are congratulating themselves. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus, any power monitoring my life, monitoring my progress, monitoring my marriage, monitoring the affairs of my life through the sun. Say you that power, go blind in the name of Jesus. Any power that is monitoring my wife, monitoring my children, monitoring my family member, using the sun, go blind, go blind, go blind, go blind, go blind. Command the power to go blind. Any power that is monitoring your children, monitoring your husband, monitoring your wife, monitoring your progress, using sun for divination, command the power to go blind in the name of Jesus. Let it go blind. Let it go blind. Let it go blind. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Say any covenant with the sand that is walking, that is speaking, that is standing. Do you hear that prayer? Any covenant with the sand that is walking, that is speaking, that is standing against my progress, break by the blood of Jesus. You may not know. Somebody somewhere may have entered into covenant with the sand, with the earth. You may have entered into covenant with the earth. Say in the name of Jesus. Say any covenant with the art that is walking, that is speaking, that is standing against my progress, against my fruitfulness. Say by the blood of Jesus. Break, 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 break. You that satanic covenant with the art that is walking against me, that is standing against me, that is speaking against this ministry by the blood of Jesus. You that covenant. Break, 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 break. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The last prayer for tonight. Let's not forget, prayer avalanche continue. 12 noon Nigeria time. Today is day 9. Am I right? Today is day 9. Please join me to, today as we come together to pray for our family, especially if you are a woman. If you are a woman, if you are a mother, if you are a sister, Please don't miss today. Don't miss today. Today is Saturday. Don't miss it. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. This last prayer, please, wherever you are, 
because of camera i may not be able to do it but wherever you are i want you to lay your hand on the art lay your hand lay it on the land where you are if you are in that room let your your hand be on the floor amen because i'm standing because of the camera that's why i'm not will not be able to bend down amen say in the name of jesus say oh art oh art release my blessing in the name of jesus as your hand is on the lay on the earth can we begin to address the earth say oh art oh art oh art release my blessing in the name of jesus the blessing of my marriage the blessing of my business the blessing of my career the blessing of this ministry praying the good network oh art oh art release them 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 decree and declare let the earth release your blessing in the name of jesus that house that marriage the earth should release your blessing your marital blessing the blessing of your business the blessing of your career your increase your enlightenment your fruitfulness let the earth begin to release them pray that prayer those of you in the foreign country can you declare and declare concern yourself say oh art oh art oh art the land of this country mention the name of the country say release my blessing release my blessing release my blessing release my blessing i must progress i must be fruitful i must increase i must enlarge release my blessing in the name of jesus decree and declare let the earth release your blessing one minute more decree and declare don't be tired oh earth, release my blessing 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 decree and declare mr hassan i believe you are praying it seriously command the heart to release your blessing in the name of jesus sister maureen i believe you are praying sister jane what about you command the heart to release your blessing in the name of jesus every one of us on the online church every one of us on facebook on youtube on instagram Every one of you listen to this audio. Can you decree and declare? Pray everywhere. God bless you, sir. Mr. Hassan, I hope my sister too, she is praying. Let the earth release our blessing. 30 minutes more. Decree and declare. Oh, earth, release my blessing. In the name of Jesus. Mention the environment where you are living. Mention the environment where your work is. Release my blessing. Formate my blessing. Release my blessing. Formate my blessing. Release my blessing. For me, 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 my blessing. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. I decree, I declare concerning every one of us tonight. The earth will release our blessing in the name of Jesus. Any good thing that belongs to us that the earth has swallowed. Tonight, let the earth begin to forme them in the name of Jesus. Any satanic decree, any satanic standing order, any satanic agreement with the art concerning us that is working against us, working against our marriage, against our business, against our career. Tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I will cancel them in the name of Jesus. Let them be canceled. 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 That land where you are, that foreign land, you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Every hardship that you are witnessing right now, Joseph witnessed hardship. Joseph witnessed setback in a foreign land. But at the end of the day, God turned it around for him within, within a second. I decree, I declare, this very month, this very month, month of March, every turbulence, every turbulence in that foreign land where you are, let God turn it around for your favor in the name of Jesus. Every barrier on the land is removed in the name of Jesus. Every barrier on the land is lifted in the name of Jesus. Every barrier is lifted in the name of Jesus. Every barrier is lifted in the name of Jesus. Every barrier is lifted in the name of Jesus. You will make progress. I say you will make progress in the name of Jesus. From this time henceforth, the earth on that land where you are, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I say you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare, release upon you in the name of Jesus. Release upon you in the name of Jesus. The earth will begin to help you. The earth will cooperate with you. 
the earth will no longer work against you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Praise ye the Lord. Every one of you that God is using you to partner with us, with your seed, with your offering, may God bless you, may God increase you, may God enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. May God bless you, may God increase you, may God enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. From this time henceforth, the earth begin to help you, the earth begin to cooperate with you in the name of Jesus. Every standing order on the land that I be working against you, tonight, I abolish them, I cancel them, I wipe them off by the blood of Jesus. I should partner with us so that this work, the work of God will increase and enlarge, will move from nation to nation. May God raise men and women that will partner with your business. May your business begin to increase and enlarge in the name of Jesus. You are there, you have been blessed tonight. You are saying, Pastor, I have been blessed. I cannot go without being a blessing to the ministry. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. As usual, if you're on Facebook, on YouTube, on the screen, amen, the account is there on the on the page. But if you are listening to this audio, just send a message to plus 234-8062-6862-55. Plus 234-8062-6862-55. Send you the account detail. And as we partner together, as you come together to move this work of God forward, may God move you forward in Jesus' name. Till we come this afternoon, 12 noon, for prayer avalanche, Go forth and let the earth begin to form it, begin to release its abundance for you in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Every one of us on the online church, the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. From glory to glory, from blessing to blessing, from favor to favor, in the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we are pray. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. The Lord bless every one of us in Jesus' name. See you 12 noon for prayer avalanche. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.